Hello friends, thanks for joining me again. I'll often say when I make these videos that when you can see buying that may turn out to be some form of accumulation, if you are buying within the accumulation, you do hold extra risk because the professional traders who are buying are not yet committed to their positions and may, if sentiment changes for some reason, dump their stocks before any sort of markup even gets underway. You can see in this case here that price broke out above what was some form of buying through here. It took 15 weeks to complete this little period. And you can see price broke out and then there was a little consolidation very high on the breakout bar, which is always a sign of strength. So you can see there was no doubt that there was buying here. And in response, you can see the price moved up strongly. There's always a case for identifying the period of buying and then buying once price has broken out. And then the risk you hold during the markup period is far less. The longer price moves higher in the markup phase, the more committed to their positions are the professionals. When they're committed to their positions, there's profit on the table, they're much more likely to complete the breakout. And you can see when you start seeing price gap up like this, you're more than likely seeing some sort of top, whether it be a minor top or a top form. But the idea is you can buy during an accumulation or buying period, but just be aware that if sentiment changes, the professionals that have been buying may easily dump their stocks for whatever reason. However, if you buy after the breakout, particularly during the little consolidation following the breakout, you've got a much higher probability of making a profit. Yes, the amount of profit will be slightly lower because you won't have bought at the lows but the success rate will be much higher. If we look at this other chart here, this is A2M, A2 Milk. It was a market darling for quite a period on the Australian Stock Exchange. And you can see that some sort of high formed here. There was some supply being drawn out and price broke below the previous support and then was unable to regain its place back above that support level. And you can see that for whatever reason, price broke down. This is the breakdown bar. And for a period, price tried to reaccumulate. You can see here. Now, if you bought on this bar here, you were one, two, three, four, five bars in, five weeks in, it's a weekly chart, five weeks in, and you'd be thinking, I've bought at the lows of the range. And when price takes off again, I'm going to be making the maximum profit possible. However, if you look at this bar here, it's this volume down here, it was far increased over all the other volumes since the breakdown. This was a telltale sign that things weren't necessarily going well. There was definitely buying in here, there's no doubt. And if you look at this little up bar, there was no volume. The buyers, the demand had left. Price tried to hold on here. And then 
after one more day. If you were in the market, you probably and you stayed in on this bar, you probably would have held on that bar. But then something happened. I imagine it was some form of announcement and sentiment changed. What buying was seen in here and that remained held was dumped, was dumped on this bar. Here's the much increased volume. And any chance of price pushing higher was lost. When you see a period of accumulation or attempted accumulation like this, and then a change of sentiment comes in, and the accumulated stock is pretty much dumped in one go, it forms these very wide spreads on much higher volumes because sentiment's changed, the professionals in the market have decided this is not going to work and they get out in one go as quick as possible. They've dumped their stock and that causes these very wide spreads on high volumes. You can see here that once again, there's been attempt to accumulate through here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks. And then price is dumped again. You can see the patterns forming. There's an attempt at accumulation and then price is dumped. It's not working. At some point, sentiment will remain strong and price will accelerate away. You can see if we look at the recent trading, spread did narrow on this bar with volume higher compared to how far price fell on this bar to the volume. So as far as the price pushing lower goes, volume increased here, but spread narrowed compared to the previous dumping, if you like. So there may be some increased buying coming in down here. It's not really apparent yet, and you certainly wouldn't want to buy. You'd be much better off waiting for an accumulation to take place or some decent buying to take place and then buying a breakout. So if you made a line like this here, you didn't worry about this at all. When price broke out above this level, Preferably, if price broke out, retested the level, and then started to accelerate higher again, uh, you could buy it as on the pullback to test, or you could buy when it starts to, when price starts to exceed this level here, as price is pushing away, as a markup starts. But at this point, while there may be some possible interest developing, I wouldn't be too keen at all of buying during any of these accumulation or attempted accumulation phases. This is price continuing to break down. And this is the inherent risk in buying during an accumulation phase or a buying phase. There's always increased risk during these periods. And there's no guarantee of success. And if you see price dump like this and you're in, you're generally better off dumping along with them and dusting yourself off and looking for the next trade. Because the damage will rarely be repaired very quickly. It will generally take some time for, for anyone else who's locked into a weak position to get themselves out and clear the area which would allow price to accelerate higher again. Beware of the increased risk when buying in some sort of accumulation phase. 
it's always much safer and a higher probability buying after price has broken out and as a markup phase begins and ride the markup up and just keep your eye out for signs that a top is in or coming in and always be prepared to take your profits. If there's a good profit on the table, you start seeing gap ups like this and high volume bars that close well off their highs, be wary. If you're not going to take all your profits, take some profits and be aware of what might be going on. These active professionals in the market, they're looking to make their gains and get out and move on to the next stock. And in a lot of cases, unless you're in for the long term, that's what you should be doing too. Okay, that's my lot. Thanks very much. See ya.